often called white gold. Angels, bells, Christmas tree decorations. There's no shortage of mice and porcelain ornaments during the festive season. This is the company's shop in Berlin. For 10 years, the manufacturer has been using holly as a Christmas motif. This year, for the first time, it's featured on a tea service. We wanted something with Christmassy colors, gold, red, green. We've heard that holly symbolizes the crown of thorns, but what we care about most is how it looks. And it looks wonderfully Christmassy. Meissen porcelain has a 300-year tradition. Today it employs some 350 porcelain painters. Christmas production starts in September. The painters first outline the design on the porcelain. The paints are mixed using combinations from any of 10,000 colors. Then liquid gold is used to decorate the porcelain. We have to be extremely precise. We need a good command of our tools, the brushes and pens. And we have to know that the colors change during the firing process. Their true brilliance won't be visible until afterwards. Brown porcelain is lesser known, although it predates the white variety. The latest offerings from Meissen include the Holy Family and brown pine cones. It reminds some people of chocolate. The chocolate porcelain is a wonderful color for us because it's an earth tone, it's natural. And particularly at Christmas, it's nice to do things that come from nature, because nature is what connects us. It's the season of peace on earth, a time to reflect. In 1707, an alchemist named Johann Friedrich Böttke developed a reddish-brown porcelain. A year later, he reported to his lord and master, Prince August of Saxony, that he had solved the mystery of white porcelain. The main ingredient was a white clay called kaolin. It's the material we extract here in the Meissen area. We fire it at very high temperatures, about 1400 degrees Celsius, much higher than others. That creates a special density and an intensity of white that makes the color stand out. It wasn't until the beginning of the 20th century that the porcelain manufacturers began to create Christmas designs. They were followed in the 1930s with plates depicting winter fairy tales. Different countries want different products for the festive season. In Germany, it's products for the dinner table that we've become known for over the years. In Asia, the demand is much greater for the delicate figurines at Christmas time. And customers know that every single piece of mice and porcelain is hand-finished.